It's so sour. Oh! It's not yummy. <laughs> Hello everyone! I'm so excited because today I'll be showing you three easy healthy recipes that you can follow along and you can do at home. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe on my channel and if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. So today we'll be doing chia seed pudding, healthy ice cream or sorbet, and protein bowl. So we're gonna do three things and it's gonna be fun. So let's start i'm hungry so we're gonna start with chia pudding you will only need three ingredients it's gonna be easy you will need chia seeds of course as this is gonna be our main ingredients you can find this in natural health food stores or maybe in other supermarkets i'm gonna do a non-vegan recipe so for non-vegans you will need the chia you will need milk and the honey but for vegans you can replace the milk with almond milk and replace the honey with maple syrup. Let's start! So first, you will need 2 tablespoons of chia seeds. You put it in a cup. One more. And you're gonna add half cup of milk in that. And if you want to make it sweet, so just add a bit of honey in it and just keep stirring it it's really important to stir it to separate all of the chia seeds from each other so just keep stirring it and then wait for one more minute and then you stir it again before you put it inside the fridge and wait for maybe four hours minimum to let the seeds absorb all of the milk and it'll be the pudding now that it's done we just have to wait for four hours and let it sit in the fridge that's it it's very easy next one so the second recipe will be the super yummy my favorite ice cream i love ice cream i can eat it every single day if i can so today we'll be doing raspberry i have some blackberries i have lychee and i have kiwi I think I'm gonna combine this both. You can do this at home. It's very easy. You will need a blender or a food processor to help you with your, your ice cream. So I'll be using this. I bought it. This one. It's very cheap. Very, very cheap. This one is from China. It comes from China. That's why. It comes from China. Let's start. Okay, so first you have to put your frozen fruit, which is I'm going to start with my cranberries. So you will need a lot. Yum! Then next one, I added one fourth cup of yogurt. So you can add Greek yogurt or just a plain yogurt. And next one, I'm going to add a bit of honey to just give the texture to make it a bit thicker so it's important to you to use a frozen fruit for the texture to be thicker so if you don't have any frozen ones just cut just buy berries or banana and freeze it overnight and then do it the next day and also i'll be adding um you know, one teaspoon of lemon <laughs> So I added one more teaspoon of yogurt because it was a bit hard to, to blend it. But wait, I'll try. It's so sour. Oh it's not yummy. Don't try this at home, guys. <laughs> Voila! You can eat it now because it's already thick. So this is the texture. But I'm gonna eat it later as I'm gonna do more flavors. Ta-da! If you want it to be sweet there, just add more honey. It's like your regular ice cream, 
but healthier version. Okay, so now we're gonna do a lychee and kiwi flavor. This is gonna be yummy. You need your yogurt and honey to make it sweet. One teaspoon of lemon juice. One eternity later. Okay, let's see and try it. I know it's gonna be yummy. This one is really good. It's really good. Okay, you should try the lychee. Is it lychee or lychee? I think it's lychee. Lychee. Okay. So, it's good to add lychee and kiwi. Okay, so this is gonna... This is the texture. You can eat it now. But I'll eat it later. I'll put it in the fridge first and freeze it. And then I'm gonna eat this for a few days. Or maybe just for today. So, this is my lychee kiwi ice cream. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the fridge. I'm gonna freeze it again. Okay, so the next flavor that we're gonna do, I'm really excited about this because this is my favorite. So, we're gonna do a green pea with carrot sorbet. This is so yummy. This is for everyone. It's healthy, it's full of vitamin C, and it's full of fiber, and you can get your antioxidants. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. For the next flavor, we'll do blackberry, which is the last one. So I have my frozen blackberries in here. So yeah, we're gonna do the same process again. Put the blackberries. Stuff. And one fourth cup of yogurt. And teaspoon of lemon and honey it looks so good the color is so pretty so for our last recipe we're gonna do something really good my another favorite which is protein bowl this is easy you wouldn't need to bake it you just need these ingredients you need oats you need peanut butter this is my homemade peanut butter. I love it. You will need honey, dark chocolate chips, coconut, and I added some almonds as well. So I'm going to show you how it's done. First, you will need two cups of rolled oats. Okay, next, we're going to add one cup of peanut butter. So sticky. Ten years later. Next, you need to add half cup of honey. And we're gonna add the fun stuff. We're gonna add one fourth cup of the mini dark chocolate chips. And then we're gonna add the coconut and some almond slices. And then you have to mix it all together to combine all of the ingredients Oats wouldn't be. and I now you have to roll it and create a bowl shape and then you can dip it here in the coconut to add that coconut flavor in it So it's done guys. So this is my chia seed. I made it this morning because I know that when I do it, I have to wait for a few hours for the seeds to soak the milk. As you can see, it's already very thick inside. So that's how it should look like. So what you can do is you can do it before you sleep and then just wait for it, like soak it for overnight. And then the next day you can have it for breakfast. Ta-da! So what I love to do is I love to add some berries or fresh fruits on top of it. You can add nuts, so it's really up to you. This is my chia seed pudding. Let's try it. Hmm. 
And then I want to show you my ice cream. It's not frozen yet. I still have to wait for a couple of hours. So this is lychee and kiwi. And the other one is raspberry. So usually you have to wait for a few hours for it to freeze. Mm. If you're craving for ice cream, just do this instead of buying those ice cream outside that is full of sugar. And the last one, my protein balls. So from the ingredients, I made 20 balls. This will last you for a few days or for a few weeks. You can eat one or two balls a day. It's really good. It's so easy to do and it's so yummy. I coated it with coconut. So it's a bit of coconut flavor, as you can see. So those are the three snacks that I usually do. I hope you had fun watching this video. Have a good snack!